Konnichiwa, Tiffany Rika des. Welcome back to my channel and today I have an unboxing video for my first ever Ipsy bag. Oh, yep. I got this in the mail yesterday and I'm super excited to open it. I have not touched it yet, but I mean, look at the makeup bag. That's something that you definitely want to open. So yeah, for this month of April, it comes in a movie ticket, uh, kind of like a coral red colored makeup pouch with ticket written on it in like a lilac color. I feel like this could be such a cute clutch if you're going to like a movie premiere, like if you're one of those people and you just go to movie premieres naturally. But yeah, super cute, love it, let's open it. So the first thing I see, this is the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner Brush. Looks like that. And M Cosmetics I believe is Michelle Fawn's uh, makeup line, correct me if I'm wrong, but let's see. Oh my goodness, it is such a fine tip. Let's see, I'm really excited because the one that I have from Japan is running very low on ink, so hopefully this could be a replacer for that. Oh my god, that is beautiful, super pigmented, very, very thin line. I feel like the packaging is just very normal though. I feel like Michelle Fawn would have done a little bit more with the packaging, but overall I think it would be a really great product and I will probably do a follow up on any of the products that I end up liking or I'll put it in a favorites video. So I got that for first. Second, I see the PS Infused Nail Lacquer. Uh, it says it's in the color Southern Sand. I do get my nails done usually at a salon, but right now since I'm letting them grow out a little bit, nothing's on them, so I might try this out. It says it's free of all these chemicals, parabens, lead, uh, no animal testing, and it's vegan, so that's awesome because I don't eat meat. Ooh, and it's a super light color, very neutral, so it'll go with everything that I'm wearing. So I got that. Third product I see in here is the Skin & Co. This is the Truffle Therapy Essence Face Toner. Truffle Therapy? I love truffle fries, so if you want to add truffle to my skincare, that'll be great. It says, after cleansing, moisten a cotton pad with Truffle Therapy Face Toner and apply to face. Follow with Truffle Therapy Serum and then Truffle Therapy Cream, which I don't have, but this might be really cool. It says it has witch hazel in it, which is the stuff that's in my toner right now, and I find that that's really helpful. Oh my gosh, it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells kind of like a perfume, which I'm kind of scared to put like very scented things on my face, but hopefully this will work out. The next thing that I see in here is the I Will Stay. That's so cute. I Will Stay Naturally Long Wearing Eyeshadow from the company Peak. Is there a color? Reveal your natural beauty. Piku, think of these colors as your shadow shades for the windows of your soul. Okay. Uh, it's in the color 250K8. And I just got a Z palette. These are single eyeshadows, but I just got a Z palette, so hopefully this will go into that. How do you open this? It's so tiny. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's super small. It looks like this. It looks like something out of the naked eyeshadow palettes. Oh, that's super pigmented. Okay, good. It has a kind of like a bronzy, um, more of a warm toned brown color. Super wearable. I think it'll go really well with a lot of different looks. Um, and then I think, yeah, the last product that I have in here is another eyeshadow. I said in my quiz part that I'm really looking for more eyeshadows because I want to branch out a little bit. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. And is there... Oh, this is, I don't know if this is an eyeshadow or if this is a blush, because it says it's a, it's rendezvous, I don't, can you guys even say that word? Blush, used in palettes and kits. So I don't know if this is actually the color's name or if it's actually meant to be a blush, but, oh, it's a blush because it's huge, so. I'm glad it's in a pan though because I have so many things that I need to depot to put in my Z palette. But this is the color, very neutral. I think it'll go with pretty much every skin shade. Um, it's not super pigmented. You can see I'm like trying to swipe it over and over again. 
but once you build up the color, I think it looks really nice. A little bit orangey for a blush, but um, it might work with a lot of different colors. I feel like for me though, this is a bronzer shade because that's a little bit of a darker look. So. so that is everything that I got in my first ever Ipsy bag. I'm pretty stoked to try some of these out. Obviously, like there's some products where I feel like this is just like thrown in there to like fill up the bag a little bit. But I'm definitely excited to try out the M Cosmetics eyeliner. I think this looks amazing as well as the truffle toner. Hopefully my skin doesn't um, react to the scent in this, but it seems like such a cool product because it's made with truffles, uh, truffle oil. Yeah, but overall I really liked it. I will leave a link to the Ipsy website down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you want to. It's like a monthly subscription, I think everyone knows this. It's a monthly subscription and you pay like $10 and you get a bag each time. So yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are new here and you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I upload once a week and I would love to see you guys' beautiful faces here again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Matane! Mwah!